everyone welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, like uh, how fast can you type the alphabet project so like for your um, viewers to see how fast they can type the alphabet so let's get started so let's start by deleting the sprite and we're gonna do make a new sprite and then we will name it letters then in the letter sprite we're gonna add all of our letters basically so let's add all of those. So now once you're done um, with all the like typing out all the letters, now we're gonna go back to the ending, and coding. And then yeah, let's do um, a when clicked, and then we can do a broadcast, like a broadcast. We can broadcast a message called start. So after we named start, we can now start by making a new block. So this will make it easier for us to like check the letters. So we'll do check letter and we'll add an input right over there and then we'll put letter and then we'll click on ok and then now you're gonna add into this bottom part a wait until and key letter pressed then then we'll switch it to the next costume Okay, so now let's go to the when I receive of the start. So when I receive start, um, we'll make a new wearable first. We'll name it um, is over and then that. So we'll set is over to nope or anything like not, not, no or anything. And then, and then what we're going to do is we're going to set another variable called timer we're gonna set timer to zero oops and we can actually show that if you want over here and timer to zero and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch costume to number one go to looks switch costume to number one then you're gonna do like this code wait until key a pressed then we'll do a reset timer so scratch has a built-in timer see still running there so we'll do a reset timer and then we'll broadcast another method message we'll name it start to start to and then we'll do if I mean repeat until is over equals over equals over then we'll do set timer to answer I mean yes yeah, set timer to timer sorry set timer to timer okay so now what you're gonna do is after that code you're gonna broadcast another message called over and then we'll come back to the script over. Now we're gonna do about the checking part. So we'll do when I when I mean when I receive start to. Now we're gonna write all those alphabet skin. So let's do this, like A and B and all those stuff. Let's start. So now we have all of these check letter ones from all the alphabets. So what we're gonna do now is 
a simple script code at the ending. We're not done yet, but we're just gonna make it like to restart it. So we're gonna make a simple code called my coin clicked forever if sensing key um we're gonna go to operators now and join so uh, delete that and to enter it's already enter i'm gonna do enter and then you're gonna broadcast start so basically you'll restart if you want to restart fast it'll broadcast the message that we have so see then it'll go back to this and repeat this again so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna also add to the ending of the script um set is over to over then once you did that go to control i'm oh, sorry stop all but you're gonna make it from stop all to stop the script and then let's go to now we can make a new script code saying when i receive over so when it's done basically so when i receive over it will say timer it'll say what you like done so basically set the timer timer so it'll say your timer now and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to if and you're gonna make a new variable called fastest time and you're gonna make it a cloud variable so you have to be signed in and a scratcher to have this but so you can make it a little better so you can see the cloud score of who has the fastest time so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to operators now and then get to less than so you're gonna go to fastest time and if timer is less than fastest time then then I'll set that to the fastest time and then what you're gonna do is set fastest time to timer and then you're gonna say um say and you're gonna go to operators join timer and then colon and then you beat the high score um you beat the high score basically and then let's duplicate the script code again and then if timer is we're gonna get rid of fastest time now we're gonna need the greater than one so like if timer is greater than 15 then let's remove this code and we're gonna say join timer um like something like good job um good job but you need a little improve um improvement oops spelled wrong improvement and then we'll add like a good smiley face or something like there and then what you're gonna do now is um I'm gonna go back to the script. Co uh, actually, you're gonna edit one thing right there. You're gonna show the variable fastest time right over there. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go back to the start code, and you're going to hide something. You're gonna hide the variable fastest time. So let's clean up this now. So now let's test how it is working so far. A, B. C D E F G H I J K L M and see when we click on a random letter it doesn't come. So this is just a test thing. And now what you're gonna also do before that you're gonna set fastest time to like any random number. Set it to a like a minimum of like a good number that you can beat. So we'll set it to nine so for now, even though we didn't do it yet, but we're gonna set it to nine so we can beat it and see the fastest time. So J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. So now let's see. Yeah, I beat the high score. The fastest time is over there. And see over there and that works out now. So now the cloud variable will sync on every screen. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah. Peace.